All right, what's up everybody? It's Corey, Corey Hall Fitness. I know it's been a while since I made a video for y'all. I'm sorry about that. Right now I'm actually experiencing some uh, a shoulder injury that I'm trying to get past. I mean, it seems like it's taking forever. I had not been able to work out upper body in the past three and a half weeks. And uh, honestly, it's killing me. I want to get back to it so bad. I haven't touched a muscle up in about a month. Any handstand push-ups. And uh, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about my shoulder injury. Now you have tendons that go all through your shoulders and uh, sometimes they'll, get, they'll tear and get inflamed and I believe that's what's happening to me. And uh, what you have is you have the, the supraspinatus which runs to the top of your shoulder and that connects to your uh, shoulder muscle up here and a lot of times that will cause rotator cuff injury. And uh, that's actually the main one that people injure, it comes in the top. And you also have the uh, bicep tendon which runs through here. And then you have the subscapulus, I think that's what it's called, which runs, connects to your shoulder into your chest. And then you have the uh, infraspinatus, which runs from the, the top of your shoulder to your back. And then you have the terrace minor, which is underneath that. And they all play a certain role. And um, sometimes they can get inflamed by doing the same motion every day. That's what they talk about when I did my research. And uh, I believe that I, I got mine from doing uh, muscle ups and uh, handstand push-ups because it was something that I literally did every single day. I never took a break from doing, I at least did a muscle up every day of the week. And uh, never taking a break from it and not stretching properly and warming up, getting the blood flowing, that's so important. And uh, that's something I'll never take advantage of again. And uh, But definitely I believe it was the muscle ups and the uh, handstand push-ups that um, really hurt my tendons. And uh, I'm not saying that's like that for everybody. It was definitely like that for me. Um, but that's something you need to watch out. Always take breaks. It's really important. Listen to your body. When, you're, when your body's hurting, I actually hurt this about back in September. And uh, I didn't listen to my, to, my, uh, to my body when it was telling me to take a break. And it, I continued to keep working out. And I tried to ignore it and look past it. And that wasn't a good idea because it got worse. And it, it, it is where it is now because of that. And actually, I have pain that usually runs, which seems like the bicep tendon, and then up here in the front sometimes, in the subscapulus, and then also I have it in the back also. So there's no telling exactly where it is. I mean, uh, but there's definitely inflamed. You definitely want to go see a doctor if you're having these same problems. And uh, that was a big thing I should have done a long time ago. You'll get some anti-inflammatory, which will help out. But one of the biggest key roles that's played a factor in the healing process is physical therapy. Definitely go get that done. Don't waste any time if you are starting to feel pain. That will help out a lot. They can do things to your shoulder and to the rest of your muscle that will help everything out. Okay? It's important that you go see a physical therapist. And um, you just want to make sure that you are always stretching. You're uh, always getting the blood flowing before the workout. You don't want to go in there uh, tight. You want to make sure you're loose before the workout. Don't get loose during the workout because that's how injuries happen, just like for me. And uh, a lot of ways I could tell you to find out how it hurts is I used to try to do this and stretch it out, but I honestly, that hurts my uh, shoulder to do that, so I stopped doing that. Anything when I grab something and pick it up and use force, when my arm is pushing against the force to go and pick it up, it hurts my shoulder to do that, and it gets real weak. So if you have any of those problems, definitely go see a doctor and uh, don't ignore it because the pain will not go away, I promise. But something you definitely want to do is, uh, what I've started doing is get a nutrition plan and figure out the right foods that your body needs. I've been doing a lot of research on that and that's very important to the healing process also is getting the right nutritious foods into your body, okay? Um, that will help out the regrowth. Protein will help repair the muscle. So that's something you want to look forward to. And that's something that I actually want to do in the near future is make nutrition plans for people to help them out. So if that's something y'all are interested in, just comment below and let me know. And also if uh, y'all have any problems with your shoulders, any stories y'all want to share, just comment below and tell me about it because it really does, it helps out to learn that people are going through the same thing that I'm going through. But I promise the workout videos aren't over. It's not done. I just got to get past this. And I promise it's going to be a, uh, a better me, a smarter me. The videos are going to be better. The workouts are going to be tougher. So make sure you stick around. All right. Thanks, y'all.